And whether cell phones, road hazards, or some other obstruction is the cause of an accident, the fire department and police personnel are assuring the public that they are well trained to provide the help that is needed. Just last week, the jaws of life had to be used to free a man from his vehicle after a very serious accident on the airport road. Prior to that, the jaws were used in at least one other accident that same month. Representatives from the fire department recently received a refresher's course in the use of the important device and say that it could not have come at a better time. It's only been 27 days since the fire, road safety and medical departments on Providenciales underwent a three-day training course in basic car cutting and spreading techniques. The week of June 9th introduced a new form of hydraulic rescue equipment referred to as the Jaws of Life. Trainers were brought in from the United Kingdom to oversee the course. It was a new initiative in the area of traffic accident rescue and caring for casualties. And already, it has helped to save the lives of some Providenciales residents. It has been used in 13 accidents for the 2007-2008 period. Today, WIV visited the fire department and spoke one-on-one -on -one with Fire Chief William C. Jennings on the response the Jaws of Life is receiving from the public. He said that people continue to commend the department on their efforts and went on to explain the usage of the hydraulic equipment. All right, um, we have the main generator here. We have the hose. Uh, this is called a dedicated, cut, uh, dedicated spreader. This is a dedicated cutter. This can um, cut the A and B posts. And this is a combi tool, which you cut and spread. Here we have the seal support. And over here we have the extension. So all this, you can use separate or you can use it together. Well, the department is extremely confident with the training, but say they now need additional equipment for new vehicles with different forms of technology. The cost is an estimated $40,000. Chief Jennings made an appeal to the public with regard to giving way to emergency vehicles. Um, persons want um, uh, they just want to let us pass or they just want to uh, give way to the fire department. Uh, we had an incident um, sadly when a driver hit the fire truck. Uh, respond to a fire in five keys. So that's a big problem for the fire department. I know for the medical too. Jennings said that the jaws of life will continue to boost the endeavors of his department. Outside the fire department in Providenciales, I'm Nichelle Farrington for WIV 4 News.